Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop in January and I'm excited because we got a couple decent shoes coming out this month. So let's go ahead and get into it and start with the first shoe. The Air Jordan 4 Messy Room. So we've talked about these before. I think right. a couple times back to back. I think right. last month and the month before. Right, correct. So I'm not sure if these are like, I think they came out, but I'm not sure. But I'm seeing it as a release people. date for this. I'm kind of confused because you know how like, there's also a thing where like different countries get releases at different times of the year. Right. So like, right. you might see like, oh, so-and-so, they got it over there in Europe already, but it hasn't dropped in America yet. So maybe this is one of those situations with that. But uh, what was your thoughts about this shoe again? I really like the shoe. If I remember right, I like the shoe. I think it was just the retail price. You were like, oh yeah, that's a little expensive. So you wasn't yeah. sure if you wanted to do it or not. Right. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. Okay, so next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 7, but this has a little twist on it. You got the little zigzag vibes right here on the front end of the shoe and something right here faintly in the back with the Nike Air hit. Now, typically you don't see that on the back of the Jordan 7s, yeah. but it, you know, they're, they're stepping out the box a little bit, trying to get it creative with the Jordan 7. Oh, don't do too much for it though. Yeah. I mean, that shazam whatever thing in the front <laughs> i don't know what you call that so this is i wouldn't do that this is considered to be the olive colorway so you got the black the olive on the upper mm -hmm. and then you got more of kind of a burgundy and kind of yellowish gold kind of colors right. um on the side and on the back end with the stitching it looked like, like mountains that. or something in the background you know or something so the jordan 7 has like this classic zigzag kind of pattern on the tongue and you'll see that through the branding of different colorways that you'll see uh, that dropped over time as well. So they kind of try to bring that as it matches with the midsoles, but they brought that to the upper with the materials Don't as well. Don't do that. It, the tongue? Yeah. I get it. Looks good. Looks great. But not down there. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like they threw something on the shoe. Like so, you got you gotta wipe it off. What would you rate these out of ten? A six. A six. Retail is two hundred and ten dollars. A five. <laughs> <laughs> two hundred and ten bucks. So it I just think, went down. I think we can both say that we think this shoe is gonna be sitting when it comes it's out. It's gonna be sitting. It's overpriced. It's gonna be sitting at stores. It's uh, the beginning of the year. A lot of people spend money on holidays, da, 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 you know. January is always a pretty light year when it comes to sneaker releases. Like, right. there's not too many coming out. February gets a little bit more ramped up as you got All-Star Weekend coming makes and sense. different things like that. So this, li this list is gonna be a little bit shorter than typical. When we see like summer months where there's like 22 pairs of shoes right. coming out. Like you right. might see like eight or 10, maybe seven pairs of shoes coming We're out coming this month. Out. So that's kind of that thing with the beginning of the year. But 210, I think that's too Overpriced. Much. Bring them in about 175. I think they do better. But they still gonna be low-key sitting. They still gonna be sitting. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Okay. So next up right here, we have the Olive Concord Air Jordan 9. So the one thing that I was kind of mad about this is. Well, actually, I'll tell you. Let's let's see what you think about this. Okay. Shoe. Let's see what you think about this shoe first. I like the shoe. That was a weird color pattern. And put this what is this blue purple color on the back end yeah yeah so that was kind of weird for me and this is like an og colorway you yeah know what I'm saying? so it kind of blew that that for me but uh otherwise not take the shoe that's a good looking shoe i'll take the shoe like that so this shoe is i think i can't say everybody loves the olive nines the right. og olive nines mm -hmm. uh but a lot of people love that they want to see it retro and we have to take what we can get in this type of situation right. so i think a lot of people they're not gonna be, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself and say, I'm not as happy with it because if I wish, I wish they would've did the Olive 9 retro. You know, it's right. been about 10 years since the last retro. Then we saw the retro, we saw the OG. So it's like, I'm, I'm ready for another, you know, retro of the OG well, style. I'll say it looks like they did good on the materials. I'm not sure though. We will see in person yeah. because this photo can be very deceiving no. and that top leather with the black and everything yeah. could kind of feel stiff and plasticky and everything. Right now it looks good. Yeah, it looks good right here. Shiny right. and everything's looking right. proportions look and nice good. and stuff. But yeah, I think that I'm going to be interested to see how the materials lay and then I'm interested to see how the colors hit with the shoe in person in hand. And I think this will be an addition to the collection still. But I but think it's going to sit. It's like, I don't think you're going to have to rush out to go get it. If they do a lot of sizes, it'll be easy to get. Mm -hmm. And if they don't come in around 175, 200 is a retail. See? And that's the thing, I know prices are going up, but the problem is with some of these color codes and some of the stuff, yeah. they get limited on what you can wear with. Yeah. And then like certain shoes, certain numbers of shoes in the past didn't really sell a lot. Like the Jordan 9 is not 
in people's top five. Like, no, the majority no. of people. Not, right. You know, some people. Every, it's very all, few people it's that all say, "Oh, I gotta have the nine. Yeah. You know? I get that. And I love the Jordan 9s. I got a bunch of them in my collection. Oh, no. But at the same shooter, time, I got to be selective shooter. on the ones right. that I want to pick and everything. So yeah. this one is going to be an interesting one. I think I am uh, leaning towards a cop. I would give these maybe like a 7 out of 10. That's what overall. I was thinking. I was and thinking then, a 7. And then maybe see how I feel in person. It might move up to an 8 or something like yeah. that. But I don't think this will be like top sneaker of the I year. I still or say 175, 180. Like to come yeah. in. And I mean, you know. How 20 bucks makes a difference on the shoe deal. No, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Next Just up right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG. You know what I'm saying? Grant colorways, you know what I'm saying? We Those got the blue clean. and the gray and white. So this is a lot more of a simple and clean shoe. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about these? I give it a nine. Nine out it's of 10. A, it's a good looking shoe. Do you think this will be one of the top five Jordan 1s to release in 2023? I don't know. But I mean, obviously we don't know. All I, the I don't say in the top five, but I'll, I'll probably put it in the top 10. It might make I think it, it might make it through 10 the top releases. 10. Okay. Because of a lot of people don't really mess with the highs like yeah. that. So they call this the true blue colorway right here. Um, and I think it's a pretty solid shoe. Retail on Jordan 1s, remember, it's, it says 180. See? No, that's crazy because- That's backwards. It's no, it, yeah, it is kind of backwards because that's more of a demanded <laughs> shoe. Yeah, for it's easier to make and price and all that stuff. I get that, but it's wild because it's just like, it just keeps going up. It keeps yeah. going up. I remember when we was getting Jordan ones, like 130, but I mean, yeah. remember back your time is yeah. long ago. <laughs> Y'all get them about 750. No. <laughs> 750. No, we was getting them pretty cheap. I think the the Jordans when they first came out, I think they were like 70 bucks. Yeah. 60 bucks, 60 65 bucks. bucks. I think it was something. like, yeah, 55, 60 yeah, bucks, something like that. But that was a lot of money then. At that know, time, yeah. But sure. it is crazy to see, like, just thinking from the years from the past, from collecting and everything, the prices yeah. on this shoe. So, but I think overall, that shoe should run a little. Yeah, overall, pretty clean shoe. You got the blue laces. I'm assuming it comes with an additional pair of white laces as well. A lot of people like to switch laces up and everything. I'm kind of too lazy, and he just barely know how to lace his own shoe, so. No. <laughs> but I will say this again, what I was saying about the highest, so many people are going to low top shoes right now. Yeah. I think that's what's going to hurt the shoe to sell mm -hmm. in a, you know, in a more speedy fashion, Definitely. but it's a good looking color. I, I think there's a chance of this shoe sitting in certain stores, depending on the city and the demographics and you know, who, right. what they get and everything. But I think you will see those, oh, people posting photos, oh, this sitting at this certain store or mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be like that in every single city. Yeah. Sometimes there's shoes where it's literally like you posting it and it's like you can go to any store, any part of the country or a lot of parts of the country and get the shoe and it'll still be sitting on shelves. But I don't think it'll be in that type of situation. Yeah. So this next one right here is... <sighs> these are called the... What are these called again? The Dunk they on Mars? That. So basically, the Raging Bull 5s, you know the Raging Bull 5 you, Yeah. You ruined your Raging Bull 5s. Man, new and the second pair is, <laughs> is getting messed up. You messed up the second pair already? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I no. didn't show you. What did you do? What did you do? I wore them. <laughs> There's a difference between wearing them and wearing them. I won't show you yet. What did you do? <laughs> They're going to need some extensive cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. If anybody knows, if you know, you know. This is ridiculous. We'll, we'll catch up to that later. You gotta find one of the old videos and show them a clip of oh the other one. Oh my gosh. What? We're running the same game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. At first, All I right. heard this was a women's release, and then on here, it's not saying anything about that. It's just it looked like they changed the cut a little bit. It's saying it's like a regular release. I don't know if this is a women's release or not. We gotta check, I gotta do a little bit more research on the shoe. I haven't done that much research on the shoe because honestly, I do not plan on picking these up. It's like a burnt orange red kind of color and it's oh, got the, no. you gotta it's have got a like red, the red. faded with the shark teeth yeah. and everything. And it's got like, you know, the, the ice stay. I don't know, it's just all just a little kind of muted compared to the other version. Right, the uh, other version is cleaner. It's got the OG that, that was more, That it. was white right there and they put yeah, like a- Yeah, it's a little bit different, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So. This shoe right here, uh, it's a no-go for you. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven, okay. I'm not gonna rush out to get the shoe. No. No. You don't rush out to get any shoes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I see them, I say, DJ, you see these? I want these. I just rushed and called you. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> so, 
that uh that shoe is definitely yeah not really on my hit list i might do a review maybe but probably not i like i like to do the comparison so maybe yeah. a comparison video of like showing like that version compared to the raging bulls and the difference it's not a bad looking shoe i think they just try to try to do too much yeah i don't know trying to make too many changes it's tough when you get that like oh this looks very similar to the other type of shoe mm -hmm. and it's like then then you get the people in the comments oh they're getting repetitive they're running out of ideas right all the different stuff so i get that as well now these right here uh this was the year of the rabbit so uh next year's year of the rabbit today well i guess technically by the time you see this video we're in 2023 now so right uh <laughs> but they always do like the series remember we i showed you the chinese Those New Year's clean, sixes though. and everything like that yeah. these are the jordan 23 year of the rabbit i think these are clean too i think these won't sit long i think people will buy these and rush out and get these i think if people is gonna low-key having a hard time figuring out where they're at like i don't think they're gonna make that many pairs and they're not gonna be yeah. like just at your local foot locker but the shoe everything. looks great so i think it's shoe. gonna be one of those situations where it's like it's funny because i talked about this before the higher number retros they'll they'll low-key be up there in value the ho higher number of jordan mm -hmm. models or whatever but people don't them. pay attention to them yeah, but next thing you know, Usually it's like about still spending like 13 and down, they worry about. Yeah, and it's crazy. Like you'll get the new drop, and you'll get like the like the Jordan 37s and the 38s is gonna be coming out, different stuff like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. But like you miss out on it, next thing you know, you're spending like 350 bucks trying to get the shoe. It's like, oh, nobody cared about those. Right. But it's like you can't find it because everybody got it, they wanted it, and right. it didn't just and go they didn't everywhere. just make a whole bunch yeah. of them. It's wild. So I think this is kind of one of those shoes in that that scenario. But the Jordan 23, I have pairs in my it's collection. I think this is a dope pair. I would like to add these to my collection as well. Um, it's a good looking shoe. Definitely a very clean shoe. Definitely a clean yeah. shoe. You kind of got like that minty color on I there. I give it a nine. The red stitch and the gold and everything. Solid yeah. nine out of 10. Yeah. Like yeah. It. Let me see What that. are you coming in at? About 220? What color is the outsole? White? Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. That's, That's tough, clean. man. When you got the white outsole. Look at that. You're the rabbit on the back of the tongue. Yeah. Now this is clean. The details, the carbon fiber hits on the bottom, everything. I really like the shoe. They got the gold tips, the gold. Stitch. I hate them gold tips be coming off though. Yeah, it be popping off every now and then. But, but yeah. hey, Nike, y'all need to do better about that. They just shoe laces. They be falling off sometimes. Yeah. Like, and then nah, you got barely, one. Barely even more to shoe. Like man. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got a hey what was the shoes. price of the shoe uh oh yeah oh no let me see let's go back and see real quick i was guessing around 220. oh no you know it's a higher number model with all the different materials they might mess around and hit them for 250. really i don't know we're gonna see 260. 260. told you Woo! how you feel about them now you get an eight <laughs> 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 it's like we went back down real quick. <laughs> as soon as I seen that price, as soon as the price, you know you be like, ooh, and then yeah. flip it over. You're like, nah, I'll put that back. <laughs> I don't want it that much. <laughs> All right, so right here we have the Air Jordan Two Craft. Uh, you know they still got the Air Jordan Two agenda. They're coming with more models and everything. Right. The OG Chicago Twos just came out yesterday. I was excited about that. But this is something a little bit different. Got more of the neutral tones. Kind of fits the vibe with the vintage. You got the color on the midsole right. and everything. But at the same time, it's a Jordan Two. There's no like crazy story behind it with the collaboration and everything. So I don't think it's gonna really be able to push in the market like that. You know what I'm no, saying? No. In the colorway, to me, the colorway is no good. I think it's all right. I think it's no. like. I feel like the colorway for the shoe, like in the color blocking, I'd say colorway and color blocking. Are you guys hearing this? Like a, <laughs> I don't know if I want to say six or seven. <laughs> I'm gonna say six and a half. Okay. I'll say six and a half. I'll give you that. Way. It's not gonna be much higher than that. But it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not bad. No. It's just cool. But if you go with the simple ones, like the other ones, like with the black or the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's clean. I know. And then, and then pop. This white is not white, it's creamy. And it's gonna look dirty soon. Yeah. But it's that vintage vibe. People like the no. vintage. <laughs> it's like, I want my <laughs> shit to be fresh. <laughs> I want that Man. crispy day. Okay, so retail on these 185 bucks. Oh, see, that's why. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's cool. You like that? You yeah, like drop price? it to about 160. Okay. You like that with the price? Yeah. So, all right, we got one more. I don't know. I think still it. Actually, we might have me that colorway. Oh, Let's see. Know. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right here. So, this is a. Um, Wait, is this a kid's pair? This is a kid's pair. Yeah, so you got the Marstone Air Jordan 3s right here. So, what do you think about these? I feel like these are low-key terrible too. They're not terrible. They look like greasy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? Right on the ear with a chicken. They just look greasy. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, it it's the, not terrible. It's got the vintage look. But it's the not the greatest. So what did you rate? And not only that, kids is not gonna wear this. I'm not trying to roast the kids or anything. If I see a kid, no, the rocking kids on, not gonna wear like, this. Like I'm not about to be roasting the kids' feet. Like if you got the shoes on. No, you can cr Bro. congratulate kids. Yeah, you just slapped yeah. the parents for buying <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, those look great. It's kid. not your fault. Turn around, parents. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a it's it's not a bad looking shoe. These are worse than the twos. But but listen, what I'm gonna tell These you. These are worse than the twos. Are you hearing what he said right <laughs> now? <laughs> I wouldn't buy these either. <laughs> no, for the kids, you gotta get kids shoes. It's cool because it got a black bottom, you know what I'm saying? It won't mess up, you won't get it yeah. dirty as quick, but. But no kids outfits. Wait. This is like, what are you, a Browns fan or something? Like, who's no. a Browns fan out here, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Go Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> it's Go Steelers all day. Oh. So 150 bucks for these retail. Too much. It's a lot for those, huh? For kids. We're gonna call these the greasy chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't ever, you ain't ever had some chicken that's just too greasy. Right. Like, I don't even want to eat this. Like, this is nasty, bro. <laughs> or your JoJo's get cold. Nah, and it's shrivel like, up. The grease be in it, just like all oh, chalky. It's just like, <laughs> don't eat that. <laughs> so, that's gonna do it. Those are all the shoes. We do this every single month at the beginning of the month. If you guys wanna see any more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join it. And make sure you guys check out his channel. What's your channel name? I forgot. We changed it, didn't we? I don't know. We Either changed it. Well, I have a link for you guys. I'm getting down better below. at this. Hey, you know, I learned how to use Instagram. What was it? TikTok? It's no, I use one of them. <laughs> Instagram, kind of. <laughs> I'll put his Instagram on here too. Hey, hey, follow his Instagram. We gotta get him past a thousand followers hey, on Instagram. This is hilarious because I'll be trying to use it and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's so lost. All right, you guys, I'll see you in another hey, one. We thanks out. for having us. <laughs> Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.